The Phantom Knight of Cursed Javelin is an awesome rank 3 monster that gives Phantom Knights an actually not terrible first turn rank 3 to make besides Levier the Sea Dragon. Let's take a look at its effect. So I think it was pretty well designed because it says you can detach one Exceed Material from this card, then target one face of monster your opponent controls until the end of this turn, changes attack to zero, also it has its effects negated. So it's sort of like a Gorgonic Guardian and you guys know how much I love that card, so naturally I'm going to love this card except it's not as difficult to make because it doesn't take rock monsters. This effect can be activated during either player's turn, obviously, if this card has a Phantom Knights card as Exceed Material. You can only use this effect of the Phantom Knights of Cursed Javelin once per turn. So the cool part here is that it restricts you from just using this in any deck because you actually have to have a Phantom Knights monster underneath it to get the during either player's turn effect, and I think that's a, a nice addition that makes this card not completely broken. I don't know if, I mean, there's not a lot of rank 3 decks in general right now, but I think if it had the um, during either player's turn effect, no matter what, it'd probably be too good, but... As it stands right now, it's just a good rank 3 option to go into first turn that doesn't require any other setup other than just having Phantom Knight monsters. Oh wait, that's a lie. This card's actually a rank 2, and that's fucking stupid because obviously all the Phantom Knights right now are level 3 or level 4, and even then the level 4 is not very good at all, so it's like, <laughs> it's level 2, so it sucks. How does Konami expect us to summon this? Well, take a look at the new trap card out of Maximum Crisis, the Phantom Knights of Lost Vambrance. Vambrace? Probably Vambrace. I don't know. Target one face a monster on the field. If that target is still faced up on the field, the Phantom Knights monsters you control cannot be stirred by battle. Also, that target loses 600 attack. Also, its level becomes 2. These effects last until the end of the this turn. Then, special summon this card in defense position as a normal monster, Warrior type, dark, level 2, attack 600, defense 0. This card is not treated as a trap card. So, here's the idea. You're setting this card first turn. You're hopefully not activating it during your opponent's turn. And then when your second turn rolls around, you summon a Phantom Knight's monster, monster activate this, targeting the Phantom Knight's monster, making it level 2, special summoning this card as level 2, and then overlaying into Cursed Javelin. Does that sound practical? Because it's it's not at all. Um, this is super frustrating that they would go out of their way to make Cursed Javelin this hard to summon. There's no other reliable way to bring this out. Now, I will mention that there is another card in Maximum Crisis that is a Phantom Maze Trap card that brings itself out. Um, but it only brings itself out as a level 2 monster, so it doesn't really help. Where this card, at least, is turning another monster into a level 2 now, it'd be kind of cool if you could use, like, the Phantom Knight's rank of magic to rank down into this thing. That's not possible. Maybe there's, like, another rank down card that I'm not thinking of that... I mean, I'm pretty sure there's a, there's a rank of magic that puts the monster down um, a rank, but that's not, like, searchable in Phantom Knights, where rank of magic launch is because it's a Phantom Knight's card. But as it stands, this is the only way to summon this thing that is like semi viable and even then it's like two turns too slow uh i don't know why konami just didn't make this card level or rank three like it would have been so much better and it's like it wouldn't have been broken because no one's playing phantom knights anyway i mean hell they could have just made it taking two level three phantom knight monsters so that it was like completely not generic and that would have been fine but the fact that they made this a rank 2 that it's not like any rank 2 decks will probably play this. Effect negating on your turn isn't super important, especially because, I mean, I would assume the ruling would be that it's not a quick effect even on your own turn, even if you don't have a Phantom Knights, or as long as you don't have a Phantom Knights under it, because it, then you don't get the during either player turn effect. So it's just a, a spell speed 1 effect negator for level 2 decks. And uh, that's not what level 2 decks really need. I mean, it, I can't see anyone playing this in Frog, Paleozoic, Extra Deck Space, and that deck is pretty tight anyway because they're playing so many other utility rank 2s. But it seems like this card is actually just designed as a big fuck you to Phantom Knight players because there's so many ways that I could conceive this card to not be terrible but just by changing, like, one aspect of it. Um, or even with the trap card. I mean, if the trap card was a spell... Sure, that'd be 
or like even it doesn't even have to be a quick play spell it could just be a normal spell and it'd still be sort of playable because you could search it with cloak or boots and that's kind of neat that would be fine if it was a quick play spell that'd be fine if <laughs> if there were any like not shitty phantom knight cards that summon themselves as level two monsters that'd be fine but like they both fucking suck um that'd be cool i don't i don't know if you could like if there was some Phantom Knights card that reduced everything by one level on the field, that'd be kind of neat as like a card that you could use to combo into Curse Javelin or use as a defensive measure to reduce everything your opponent controls. That'd be fine. If Curse Javelin was ranked three. That'd be fine. There's just like so many other steps they could have taken to make this card not terrible. And they just like didn't go with any of them. They just really wanted this card to be as bad as possible. And that's frustrating because, once again, no one's playing Phantom Knights anyway, and this card wouldn't have made them, like, overpowered or anything. So what's the point of adding on unnecessary restrictions to make sure not only is it not playable from, like, a generic standpoint, but it's ridiculously not playable from, like, the deck it's supposed to be played in standpoint. And, I mean, we can look, we can look at the other trap card they gave us just so you guys know how bad it is and how bad things are so the phantom knights of wrong magneteering or i guess it's just magnet ring the phantom knights of wrong Mat magnet ring weird name uh when an opponent's monster declares an attack negate that attack and then special summon this card in attack position as an effect monster warrior type dark level two attack zero defense zero with the following effect this card is not treated as a trap card during either player's turn, you can send this card and one face-up card you control to the graveyard, either a Phantom Knight's monster or a Phantom Knight's continuous spell or trap card. Draw two cards. So, <laughs> this one's even worse because not only does it not get you another level 2 monster, so the level 2 part doesn't really matter as much, it also can only be activated to negate an attack, and then its effect is basically just a worse... Magic Planter, considering all the hoops you had to jump through to actually summon it in the first place. And it's like, once again, if, if this card was like level 3, that'd be kind of cool. Or if you could just like, I don't know, if you could just activate this to get rid of a Phantom Knight monster or continuous spell or trap card. And then draw two cards and then special summon it as level 2. Like, that wouldn't be completely terrible, because like... I mean, yeah, sometimes you get dead swords and fog blades on your field and trading them for two draws would be kind of neat. And then getting a level two monster, I guess, wouldn't be like terrible. I mean, it'd be cool if it also then changed a monster to level two so you could actually summon Cursed Javelin. I mean, that'd be a pretty cool sequencing of plays where you uh, you get some draws, you summon a rank two guy. I mean, that's kind of neat. But as it stands, this card is just even worse than uh, Lost Vembrance and... I don't even know how that's possible considering how bad that card is, but it's like, I don't know why Konami is turning Phantom Knights into Black Wings. Is this like the new direction they're taking with this particular theme? They're just going to give us next set, a, uh, a rank one Phantom Knight that we can summon with a, a counter trap that has to negate hand traps and then you special summon uh, the counter trap as level one. Is that like the new thing that we're going to go through here actually that wouldn't even be that terrible that's much better than what they would give us it definitely wouldn't negate hand traps it'd be like negate a card effect that activates in the standby phase special summon this is level one monster also take 5,000 damage like that's what they're going to give us next set it's going to be fucking stupid it's like either just stop printing phantom knight cards or make the ones that you do print better one of my least favorite things in Yu-Gi-Oh is how much filler there is in this set um Every set's going to have filler. Obviously, every card can't be powerful. But if you're going to give legacy support, can you just make it not so shitty, please? Um, this sort of reminds me of like the digital bugs in this set because both of them are god-awful. I mean, digital bug, LED bug is not terrible, but the, the spell card is pretty bad. And it's like, I, I like legacy support, legacy support a lot. Like I play legacy support in a lot of the decks. I love picking up old decks just to add new cards to them. But when you make them this unplayable, where it's like, do I even try to make Phantom Knights with rank twos? I mean, how much suffering am I willing to go through to get a, a video? Probably not enough. I don't think I could see myself like playing Phantom Knights again with this rank two stuff just to like summon new cards. That just isn't going to happen. But please, Konami, stop making shitty legacy support. Please give Phantom Knights some like better cards that aren't ass. And uh, anyway, hopefully you guys enjoyed this discussion. I will see you later. Bye.